so much has changed about her in the past five years and it's not just limited to her physical appearance alone in five years she's lost much of her pigmentation but has equally gained more Wendy Lai went back to meet Laurentia Enamunya half a decade after their first encounter. When I was in JSS, I, 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 I felt depressed always. Always I'll be crying. I even tried to commit suicide. It's one of those things. I want to be a nurse, a time presenter in a model. That's what I always wish. <laughs> That was when I first met Enam in 2014. She was a final year nursing student at the Keta Nursing Training College. So much has changed in her life the last half decade. The most visible is her less pigmented body. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. How are you? I'm well. Good to see you. Good to see you. Again. It's been how long? Five years now. Yes. <laughs> she now resides in Amejope in the Volta region and is an enrolled nurse at the Amejope Health Centre, a job she has had close to four years. After years of enduring social stigma, she learned to accept herself. Her confidence was shattered at some point, but five years ago, Enam decided she didn't want to feel the pain anymore. Her story is that of resilience, hope and confidence in the face of adversity. Her colleagues and patients seem to ignore the visible distinguishing look. But was that the situation from the onset? About three years ago, while she was in a, she was in the car, and I saw her, my first impression was, what happened to her? Is it a fire burn or... But I thought maybe that's her skin tone. The way she teaches, even in the social gathering, it's lovely. First time I saw her, it was normal because I've seen her on social media. The first time I saw her, I was oh, a little scared because it wasn't common here. It was news in town that have you seen that tigerness? Tigerness. We began to organize community gatherings where she begins to give us education on some vital issues. She became familiar to us. Enam first noticed a white patch on her skin, which looked like a birthmark at age 12. With time, the white patches kept spreading to other parts of her body. According to dermatologist, vitiligo is a condition where white patches develop on one's skin due to loss of color from areas of one's skin. The American Academy of Dermatology indicates people get vitiligo when their body attacks its own melanocytes, the cells that give our skin, hair, and other areas of the body color. Some people develop a few patches, while others lose much more skin color like Enam. In her late 20s, Enam's vitiligo is the universalist type, the most uncommon form which is at the extreme end of the spectrum. Enam's late great-grand-aunt had vitiligo. One of her brothers, out of three, also has a condition. The mother of one has since our first conversation become a strong advocate for persons living with vitiligo. Her foundation, Vitiligo Ghana Foundation, educate pupils and students about the condition. The Amejope Technical Institute in the Volta region has benefited from her awareness campaign. I learned that fertiligo is not contagious and it can be treated but not killed. According to the Indian Journal of Dermatology, about 1 to 2 percent of the world's population suffer from vitiligo. Enam did not allow her condition to affect her dreams of becoming a nurse, despite the stigmatization she has faced along the way. Today, Enam is a nurse, model, for some brands and a vitiligo advocate. She has played a lead role in the movie on vitiligo, which is yet to be premiered. But she looks forward to becoming a TV presenter. She says her confidence was boosted by her first interview with our news team. So it gives me the platform to actually 
move around in society more freely than before because before people were not used to the skin or know what it is but after the story on tv3 uh, i was able to get the exposure and i'm feels accomplished having come this far now i feel like i've embraced my skin <laughs> i feel like i'm out of my shell to explore to do more to actually achieve more to get people that are living with a skin condition to also achieve same like me to be all out there's no need for them to hide themselves there's no need to have a suicidal thought or feel depressed about the skin i believe embracing myself now is it's a big deal on turning white the nurse had this explanation to give within that five years I've been doing a lot, so I think it's because of the stress that the white patch is coming more. It's also because my, my vertigo is universal type of vertigo that have to do with the, almost all the body parts, so it spreads to the body parts so quickly. With hope, courage and self-love, Enam believes she can still live her life despite her condition, as she plans on feathering her education. When Delai, TV3 News.